Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss how to filter the widget rebuild with the help of select method. Here I have created a project filter rebuild with select river pod and in the pubspec.yml file I have taken the latest version of flutter river pod dependency that is 2.3.7. Now let me move to main.dart. In main.dart the root widget that is my app is wrapped with another widget that is provider scope which is provided by flutter river pod and in this material app in this home i have used another widget named as home page i will move to home page later on before that in the leaf folder i have created a file named as user.dart here i have created two properties that is name and address and this class is declared as immutable now here in VS code I have installed a extension that is dart data class generator. Now once you install this extension then if I go to the class then here we will get option generate data class. If I click here then you can see these methods are created copy with to map and so on all these methods are created fine. Now in this leaf folder I will create another file named as user notifier and in this class class user notifier it will extend state notifier and this state notifier will take user now this is generating error because this class does not contain a constructor let me click here and create constructor to call super and here you can see the constructor of user notifier class is created with super dot state here state is nothing but this user fine now here I will create two methods void update name this method will update the name property with which value the value which will be passed to this function as a parameter let me give the name as new value and here I will write state equals to state dot copy with means all the state will be copied and only it will modify the name property with this new value similarly I will create another method that is update address and here it will be address so these two methods are created inside user notifier now let me move to home page now here you can see this home page is extending the consumer widget class and inside the build method there is a scaffold widget where I have taken an app bar having the title as a river pod and in the body I have used a padding widget and I have given a padding of 16 in the horizontal direction and a vertical padding of 10. Then as a child of this padding I have taken a column widget and in the cross axis alignment and in the main axis alignment I have set the value to center. Now in the children I have taken a text field then I have, give, I have used a sized box then again I have taken a text field then again there is a sized box after that there is a text widget and there is no need of this sized box okay now this text field will be used to write the name this text field will be used to write the address and in this text I will display the name now if I run this and if I can show you the output then you will get a output like this this river pod is nothing but the app bar title and there are two text fields now what I will do is that globally here I will create a provider so I am creating a provider final user provider equals to state notifier provider and here in this state notifier provider I will specify the notifier class which we have created that is user notifier and the user and inside this ref here I will return 
user notifier all these things i have already discussed in my uh, previous videos in this particular video i will discuss the use of the select method now here i will use const user because this user notifier is taking the constructor of the or the user class object so here this user class will take uh, two uh, values that is one for name and another for address so i am giving the initial value as a ripples code and in address i am giving the value as let it be india okay now inside the build method here let me print a statement print build method is called right now inside this build method here i will use the provider which we have created and to do that here i will write final user equals to ref dot watch and after that here i will watch the provider which we have created that is the user provider now this user is of type user this means in this text widget here i can easily use user dot name now if i run this and if i can show you the output then you can see that in this text a ripples code has been displayed because here in the constructor in the user class constructor in the name i have passed the value as ripples code and in this text widget i am displaying the value of name property now what i want is that whenever i will type something in the text field and after that if i submit the value then this name should be updated so in this text field here i will use on submitted then value after that here i will use ref dot read then user provider dot notifier so what it will give it will give us the object of user notifier class and in the user notifier class we have created this update name and update address method so to update the name here i can call the update name method and here i need to pass the new value what will be the new value the value which we are typing or which we have typed in the text field so here i will pass a value now let me show you the console as well so first time when i have run the project then build method is called now let me give the name as amar and after that let me submit this once i submit this then you can see the value is changed and this build method is called fine now the same thing i will do this for text field also for this text field also and here i will simply copy this paste it here and instead of update name here i will use update address save now once i save this then you can see again the build method is called now let me give the address as let it be australia and after that if i enter then again you can see this build method is called this means whenever any property of the user class is changed then this build method is called this means the entire widget is rebuilt but now my requirement is that the widget will rebuild only if the name property is changed and here comes the select method how to use the select method let me show you let me comment this copy this paste it here and now with this user provider we will use the select method and here i will specify the property which i want to change means with which property i want to rebuild the widget so here i will use value dot name 
now this user will contain a string value this means it will contain the name so here instead of this user dot name here i will write only user right now let me save this once again now let me show you the debug console you can see this build method is called now suppose here again i am changing its value to ripples code and enter then you can see the build method is called but now suppose i am trying to change this address and again enter then you can see now the build method is not called because now we are using the select method which specifies that the widget will rebuild only if the name property of the user class is changed but here since we are changing the uh, address property of the user class that's why the widget is not re not rebuilt instead of ripples code suppose i am writing ripples this means i am changing the name property now again if i enter then you can see again the build method is called this is how we can filter the widget rebuilt with the help of the select modifier that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching